When I was my heaviest, I was 485 pounds. I was an emotional eater, so if I was sad, I ate. If I was happy, I ate. If there were celebrations, I ate. I was a prisoner in my own body. I could barely walk a block without being out of breath or climb stairs. Do you know, I had to save my own life, but I didn't think I was gonna live to see 30. I lost 312 pounds. I've been left with a lot of excess skin. I have always been overweight my entire life. I didn't do anything but go to work, come home, sit on my couch and eat every single day. And it just, it wasn't living. I was just existing. I was a prisoner in my own body. I knew nothing about nutrition. I knew nothing about cooking healthy. I knew nothing about portion control. I would say I probably ate over 6,000 calories a day. I suffered from joint pain. I suffered with being fatigued all the time. I could barely walk a block without being out of breath or climb stairs. I was afraid to die. I think um, between me and Lexi, uh, we just overindulged on food. Um, we would order a large stuffed crust pizza, breadsticks, wings. Uh, wings. Um, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew and just binge watch Netflix and just overeat. <laughs> My wedding day should have been the best day, but people definitely mistreated me at the stores. As soon as I walked in, they gave me looks just because of my size. Almost like I wasn't worthy of getting married just because I was overweight. I wasn't living, I was just existing. So after all those moments added up, I was just fed up and then I set a New Year's resolution January 1st, 2016 and that's when it all changed. I had to save my own life because I didn't think I was going to live to see 30 and now I'll be 30 next year. At my heaviest, I weighed 485 pounds and then at my lowest, I weighed 173 pounds. I usually go to the gym about six times a week. I try to mix it up so I don't get burnt out and quit. My husband actually joined me on my weight loss journey and I also started documenting my journey on Instagram. I never expected to have a following. I just wanted to help one person. So to be able to help 1.2 million plus Danny being able to help it's plus crazy. doing it together, it's really cool. Oh. We do so much more stuff together now. We're not just sitting on the couch, not talking. We're out walking, running, biking. We are active. We lost 407 pounds together. So these are my 485 pound clothes and I am now half of that. And to look at these clothes, it's just a reminder of how far I came and the path that I was at one point heading down. I had a lot of excess skin. I knew it was gonna happen going into my weight loss journey. I have had one loose skin removal surgery, but I do want to have two additional. Um, I've been left with a lot of battle wounds, which is okay after losing all my weight. We are going rock climbing, which I'm really nervous about because I've never been rock climbing. There's no way I could have rock climbed up my heaviest. I did it because you got to keep trying. That's all that matters. I think that ultimately it's good to find somebody who supports you no matter where you're at in your journey. Um, surround yourself with positive people. Start small and small changes will add up to big results. And just never give up because you only fail if you quit trying. At my heaviest, I weighed 410 pounds. There were a lot of bullies growing up and I just felt completely alone. A suicide attempt literally changed my life. Automatic switch. I lost 200 pounds and now I weigh 195. There was no option to be lazy or to fall off track. I was becoming me. 
now the amount of skin that I have is just debilitating. I really wanted to see the body that I have been working for for so long. The only way I was gonna do that was through having skin removal surgery. There were a lot of bullies growing up, but I almost built a shield against them. I always called myself the funny fat friend because I was always making fun of myself for other people to laugh, but of course, I wasn't laughing inside. At my heaviest, I weighed 410 pounds. And anything physical was a strain, either on my knees, on my heart. I knew what the doctors were gonna say. If you don't do something about your health, you're going to die. And I just felt completely alone. And it wasn't until a suicide attempt that literally changed my life. Seeing the, the look on my, my parents' face in the hospital waking up, it was just like automatic switch. I lost 200 pounds and now I weigh 195. When I started my weight loss, I really hated going to the gym. After noticing I'm getting better, I'm getting stronger, everything that I'm doing is actually, I'm seeing results from doing it. It just, it's more like a, a challenge to myself now, so I enjoy it. This day, I remember so vividly. That's when I started my journey, when I decided this is my first day I'm gonna to go to the gym. And it was the hardest day of my life. The very hardest part about my weight loss journey has been accepting my body throughout the entire thing. Just like most people's reactions, I can't, it's hard to believe that I was actually that person. But at the same time, um, Sometimes when I wake up, when I look in the mirror, I still, I still see that same person. It's like my, my mind hasn't caught up to my body yet. After losing the weight, now the amount of skin that I have is just very debilitating mentally. My skin is a reminder of the weight that I used to carry and it just feels like baggage. I bought this dress maybe three years ago. And I said, once I lost my weight, I was gonna wear it. But after I put it on, I just don't feel comfortable in it yet. So. At this point in my journey, I look at myself as the butterfly that's stuck in the cocoon. Once I have my skin removed and once I can finally feel like I have the body that I've worked so hard for, I feel like I'll be the butterfly. I really wanted to see the body that I had been working for for so long and I knew at a point that the only way I was going to do that was through having skin removal surgery. It has taken so much out of me physically and mentally to get where I am today. So I'm just, I'm so proud of myself. The main thing that I was worried about was definitely my stomach because I had so much extra skin. It was just like an extra pouch that you couldn't see my stomach at all. So now, after having the skin removed, I had a super extended tummy tuck, which involved a incision all the way from the back, almost all the way around my torso, that connects and goes all the way to the other side. I just feel normal. This is the body that I feel like I worked for. I still feel like I'm natural. I am very, I'm very happy with it. My life has completely changed after surgery. I have so much more confidence. People have always seen me as a confident person, but I see the confidence in myself now. I have not tried this dress on since I've had surgery, so I'm so excited to see what it looks like. I'm a little nervous. Hopefully I feel comfortable enough. 
So starting out as the caterpillar in the very beginning of my journey, moving to the cocoon and finally breaking free, I feel like I'm finally the butterfly. I am finally summer. At my heaviest, I weighed 360 pounds. At my biggest, I avoided not only mirrors, but just like reflective surfaces in general. When you're a big guy, you don't have very many friends. As I was losing the weight, I was gaining more confidence naturally, started to care about the way I looked. It's taken me about two years to lose 160 pounds. I started to be able to talk to people, and that's Whoa. like... What? That's like a year's difference. Oh my gosh. I started gaining weight when I was younger. I never tried to lose weight. It really just kept increasing over time. I lost my father when I was 10, and I believe that caused depression, anxiety, social anxiety, which then caused the overeating and the stress eating and really just kind of kept on getting worse and worse over the years. I actually had to teach myself how to smile. I used to eat a huge, big old cow zone that's supposed to feed a family. I could eat two Big Macs, slices and slices of pizza. When you're a big guy, you don't have very many friends. Kids pick on you. And when the doctor told me that I was clinically obese, that was the point where it became real. I wanted to lose the weight, and that was the very beginning of my transformation. Started off really slow, just walking and, and cutting out certain foods, sodas, processed foods, and then gradually started increasing the, the exercise. Once I really started getting going, I actually started to enjoy it. It kind of turned into a, a game. Every month I wanted to lose more. My heaviest I was 360 pounds. Right now I weigh 220 pounds and I've lost 160 pounds. Working out gives me more confidence. After a good workout, I always feel 100 times better even if I was exhausted before. As I was losing the weight, I started to be able to talk to people a lot better. I started to be able to look people in the eyes when I talked to them. Before, eye contact was very difficult. Oh. Good. One of my best friends now, she approached me and it boosted my confidence a lot and it was and we still we're still friends today. Okay. Good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to you. Yeah. Have you guys ever seen me? I don't think I ever showed you um, who I was before my transformation. I think yeah. I've told you but I never showed you. Yeah, yeah I don't think I've seen. No? Uh -uh. For my first sixteen years I never looked in the mirror, never looked at photos. <laughs> And that's Whoa. like what? That's like a year's difference. Oh my god! So thirteen? Yeah. But when I look at like, especially a lot of these photos, like these right here. Yeah. I don't remember taking these photos at all hmm. because I never wanted to see what it looked like. Had you ever tried to lose weight before this? Like before you made the big transformation? I never knew how big I was actually. Mm -hmm. I knew what size shirt I wear, what size pants I wear, but I had no. I never looked into what normal people wear, so I had no point of reference to see how far away I was. It was about six months into my weight loss. I got out of the shower and was able to look at the mirror and see myself. Now I see myself. But I helped more, right? Yeah. I was really surprised seeing Thomas's photos. We talked about it and heard the story, um, but never seen it. And I think that made it a little bit more real because to hear about it is one thing, but to actually see what he was talking about, totally different than I imagined. It was hard to put in my brain, knowing the Thomas we know now. I believe I'm in the best state that I've ever been. I have a lot more confidence than I've ever had. It's really good to see you. Thanks for showing us the pictures. Yeah, yeah Thomas, yeah. This is, yeah, we love you, man. I still have days where I don't feel my best just to keep moving on and keep on doing what I'm doing and eventually I'll get to where I want to be. So 
So however that looks on the scale is not really what I care about. Who's happy is really what's the most important. My beginning weight was 430 pounds. My weight has always been a constant battle. I got heavier and heavier and just never stopped. And I was like, that's it. I had to change. I've lost 188 pounds and currently weigh 244. With having lost 188 pounds, it has left me with a large amount of excess skin. Having all of this excess skin really affects my entire day-to-day -day life. I don't feel as good as I should about myself, so I'm hoping with this upcoming surgery, it'll help me realize and believe in myself what I've done. How are you feeling? Feeling awesome, excited, and ready. So we will see you um, after her surgery. My weight has always been a constant battle. I got heavier and heavier, and it just never stopped. When I started my journey back in January of 2015, I weighed 430 pounds, I hardly moved. I have twin girls who at the time were four and a half. Twin girls, I'm 430 pounds and I can't keep up. And I attempted trying to lose weight many times and failed every time and then would gain it all back plus a little more. And so that's how I kept continuing to rise. I mean, there's times where, I mean, I didn't feel like I'm gonna be alive. I was almost back to 300 pounds last year and I was not gonna have it. So towards the end of 2018, and I was like, I, that's it. I had to make a change. I've lost 188 pounds and currently weigh 244. To lose the weight, I had to really get in the mindset to do that, and that really took a while and a lot of work, but it also took a village of people to help me get there, and they are still helping me get there, and I am so grateful. It's been amazing. She's awesome to work with, inappropriate sometimes. <laughs> there's been times where she's you know, lost a whole bunch of weight, been really excited, and then sometimes where there's been a little bit of gain back, and she's been super upset. and. You know, just having to go in and talk to her and break her out of that, you know, her mindset. You can definitely see the big change from like where she started to where she is now. <laughs> Through the course of my adult life of being heavy, I tried many diets. And then I met my coach, Tina. A few of the things Tina suggested to me, I didn't like. And so I didn't do them. <laughs> and so... And it just didn't work for me. So, and then she tried to modify it and change it up and... That's how we really learned. Yep. Yeah. I used to be 540 pounds. I've lost 338 pounds naturally. Um, they featured me on the news and then this beautiful lady walked in to meet me and we have been friends ever since 2012. And I've been her mentor and coach. And um, she's gone through a lot. And it's just real remarkable to see um, how courageous she is and how she doesn't quit. And she cries. Lord, does she cry <laughs> a lot. Having all of this excess skin really affects your entire, my entire day-to-day -day life. It gets in the way. It slaps. It, you can't bend as well doing gym workouts. And when I look in the mirror, I just think disgusting. I'm trying to be proud of myself through this journey. But when I see that hanging off my body, I'm thinking it's so gross and so ugly and I don't feel as good as I should about myself. So when you wear this, so we're gonna get this whole bottom part removed. So your pant size is gonna go down just from that alone. From here, from here down. From this, this, and all of this. That's gonna be life changing. Coming up next week, I will be having my first skin removal surgery. I'll be having a paniculectomy done. It will remove all the lower portions of the skin that hangs the lowest on my body. What? What? <laughs> you want to come back to this? No. You want this? Never. Okay. An item of clothing you've been hoping to wear post-surgery. Oh, there's an item of clothing I'm hoping Actually, to wear. Actually, there is an item. I'm not. I'm like. I'm not talking about that on camera. 
<laughs> like it. For real, as women, we lost all this weight. There's no reason that we can't be sexy. I think we should do one of those boudoir shoots. Oh, like your yeah. Valentine's gear. Yeah. Yeah. About the upcoming surgery, I am extremely nervous. I'm excited. I have no idea what I'm going to look like when I come out of there. So it's really weird. Okay. I mean, what does it mean to you to have it? Freedom. So today is Wendy's first skin removal surgery of many. And now which piece is gonna be gone when we come back today? All of this. Oh my God, let's do a celebration dance with that skin. Shake it, shake it. Here we go. Are you excited? Super excited. How are you feeling? Feeling awesome. Ready. So we will see you um, after her surgery and she probably won't be this happy. <laughs> <laughs> Almost every time I come to the gym, we do another exercise where it just blows my mind and give, literally brings me to tears when I do an exercise that I wouldn't have been able to do before. It's extremely emotional. I used to not be able to hold a plank for a minute because the extra weight pulling down on me, but now I can do almost four and a half minute plank. And that was just one of those small victory, quote unquote, things that are huge. Like, that's a big deal. All that pain was worth it for just that moment. I'm mean, standing in front of the mirror, seeing what it looked like for the first time is just mind blowing. I, I really can't describe it because before I was 450 pounds and saw nothing. And now at 215 pounds, I can see everything. It's life changing. The willpower to be able to do this, you gotta want it in your heart. It is not gonna happen if you don't.